Hello, my fellow Tarnished, and welcome to the Devourer's Scepter. A legendary weapon, and indeed one of the legendary armaments needed for the achievement, and one of the most unique and powerful weapons in game. So, would you like to know how and where to get your hands on this snake wrapped round a skull on a stick? And it comes with its own soundtrack. And maybe, you know, if you're not sold yet, how about the notion that it, in a huge area around you, steals the souls of your enemies in order to heal you? Yeah! The Devourer of Worlds. So, let's do this thing. This is a very interesting legendary armament in that you can get it either incredibly early as soon as you start the game, or you can get it incredibly late just before you finish the game. The choice technically is yours, though if you choose the early option, you will lock yourself out of a lot of incredibly good rewards. But let's go over that early option real quick. So at the very start, in Limgrave, before you explore too far, you can go to the War Master's Shack and then, you know, meet the War Master, Vernal. It is his weapon that we are after. And so if you murder death, kill him right here, you just get the weapon, jobs a good un. But obviously, as I said, that locks you out of his quest line, a huge part of the Volcano Manor, and the rewards that come with it. So let's talk the actual way you're supposed to acquire this. As I just hinted at, well, you need to go to Volcano Manor, and you can get there a number of ways. You can just walk up to it in Mount Gelmir, and walking through the front door, or you can do a side little quest chain in the lakes, in which you'll be asked to retrieve a necklace from a nearby NPC. You go do that, give it back to her, she'll meet you at the top of the lift that takes you to Altus Plateau, and then if you so desire, teleport you to the volcano. Quite uh, the succinct little way to skip the travel time. In any case, now you're at the Volcano Manor, you need to do the Volcano Manor questline, the main Volcano Manor questline in this series of what essentially amounts to assassinations. When you first walk in, you will grab a letter on the table and it will show you on the map where there is someone you need to go kill. Go kill that person and then when you return, you can get some rewards and there will be a new letter waiting for you. Make sure you talk to Burnell and exhaust his dialogue every time you return from a new assassination. Once you have done two and you return and get the red letter, ignore the red letter. Talk to Burnell and he will give you one of his own. This is the one that we care about and the one that we need to do to get the weapon eventually. This has you go to Laindel, the capital, and have a two-on-two -two fight. You and Banal, and here he is, wielding the Devourer's Scepter against uh, two Tarnished. When uh, you emerge gloriously victorious, you get the incredible armor set, and also you have now progressed his quest to the point where you can safely finish Volcano Manor. Go back, talk to Banal, and then do the final red letter, and then go kill Rikard, the final shard-bearing boss of Volcano Manor, after you've killed him, I won't show you him, there's no point spoiling it, it's an incredibly epic fight, and if you've not seen it yet, you really are in for a treat. And once you have killed the final boss of Volcano Manor, Rikard, go back to Bernal, and he will comment on the fact you have done that, and then once you reload the area, he will have disappeared. So, we need to meet him again to get the weapon, and that happens in Faram Azula. Fairly deep into Faram Azula, and Faram Azula is Pokes Mountain Top of Giants, so yeah, you will be a little while until you can collect on your reward here. But once you do get to the Beside the Great Bridge Grace, and Farmer Zula is a fairly straightforward path, you'll find your way here no problem, I don't want to show you more of the area than I have to, you want to take, well, the route that you are seeing me take on screen. Essentially, we're ignoring the path to the main boss, going left, and ending up on a bridge. On this bridge, you will get invaded by, you guessed it, Banal, and he really, really is not pleased with you. Have glorious battle, and when you emerge triumphantly victorious, well, here is our prize. The Devourer's Scepter, along with his armor set, and as a little bonus, uh, this lovely, very, very helpful item, the Blasphemous Claw, which will make the fight against the main boss of Fire Missoula much easier. I won't elaborate more than that, but it does help counter one of his main offensively dangerous mechanics. So, now that we have our weapon, we have our armor set, and yes, his armor set is just incredible, and the cape you could add to it, oh, one of the best capes in the game. 
But let's actually talk the Devourer's Scepter. It's a faith, dex, and strength weapon scaling with all three and requiring a fairly sizable amount of all three to wield. Is it worth it? Well, it's not the best weapon in terms of just smacking people with. It comes with a little bit of bonus fire damage. It's not weak by any means. And it's got that big hammer, war hammer moveset you would come to expect. Slow, heavy, impactful. But what it does have is the Devourer of Worlds. It's Ashes of War. Slam the scepter into the ground and then it will pulse this red energy dome all around you and every enemy in it will be damaged and once you get this thing upgraded, this thing is going to do so much damage. And that damage then directly converts into healing. And the healing is intense. A you know, middling sized group of enemies essentially is a full heal to a middling amount of vigor, which is really, really awesome. Honestly, for whatever reason you don't care to do his storyline and you do grab this early on, going through the game with this weapon I imagine will be a lot of fun. In any case, by the time you get it, I don't think it's going to set your world on fire as it were, but I do definitely think it is one worthy of being part of your collection and of course a weapon necessary for the legendary armament achievement and definitely, I mean, snake wrapped round that sucks the life out of enemies. I mean, it's it's very cool, right? This is one that everybody wants to have a little bit of a go with at some point. So that's the Devourer Scepter. That's how you get it, and I hope you have fun doing just that. For now then, like if you've enjoyed this, found it helpful, subscribe and hit the bell for more so you don't miss further Elden Ring tips, tricks, guides, builds, funny bits, and so on. And until we meet again, please consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. A good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.